I'm Jackie. I'm a character designer at Netflix and today I'm going to show you how I complete a piece from start to finish. So let's get right into it. So when I started this piece, I didn't really know what to do. I had a, I had a few reference images. I had some inspiration. I'm going to put on the screen right now for you. And that was all I had to go off of and I, and I started to just like draw a face. That's how I usually start. And then usually the body follows. And I was trying to kind of be a little shapey with the hair. I was trying to have more of like a graphic um, thing to it, which I didn't really do in the face. Well, I kind of, I go back and I kind of try to make some angles more defined and stuff like that. And I thought it would be fun to like have a girl in a meadow, like, you know, with sunflowers and stuff like that. And I'm pushing the pose here. And I was kind of like, I was like, what should she be doing with her arms? I wasn't sure. It was kind of weird. She hugging herself, weird face, weird expression. So I gave it another go. And um, I thought this was cool. And then this gave me the idea. Oh my gosh, if she's wearing a big puffy dress, like Ariana Grande or like Beyonce and like in the field, I was like, that's it. So now I'm happy with the way the drawing is, the way the sketch is. So I start lining it. I do a more like, like rough approach. Like I didn't really anticipate this being like a big illustrative piece, which it kind of ends up like taking a lot more time. I did this over the course of like two days. Um, I hurt my neck, so like I wasn't able to do it fully the first day. Um, look in this video, look how stiff I am. Like if I want to like move my head, I have to move my entire shoulders. I could not move my head that day. <laughs> uh, I'm feeling better now. It's okay. It's it's not good. It's okay. I'm feeling better. And now I'm doing the sunflower. I could not. Whenever I do like like flowers or floral things like in the piece in like my illustrations and I line it, I always end up like deleting it. Like later you'll see me like delete these flowers and redo it. I cannot for the life of me just like line flowers. I don't like the way they look when I do that and it's just I feel like the shape is so much easier to get when you don't line it when you just like go in and paint it like free free line ish I don't know you'll, you'll see me like take a second go at it <laughs> and I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with the background like am I gonna put her in a wheat field am I gonna put her in a sunny field like usually I get the base of the colors of the background right so then I could get the for like the character colors right so I just kind of gave up and I was like, I'll figure that out later and hopefully it'll, it'll match. <laughs> so I always do the silhouette first, I do the base and then I do the skin tone and here I am cutting out the dang flowers. <laughs> I did not like that at all, but I put them back in, don't worry. Usually when I cut things out, I like, I always forget to put them back in, but this time, don't you worry, she's in there. <laughs> and, oh, I love doing lips. Um, it's like my favorite thing to do. I love softening the edges and using the smudge tool and getting like the emphasis of the cheekbones in there. And I don't know, it's just like, it's just like a lot of fun. I feel like I've tinkered with lips for such a long time that I finally feel like I have like a, a groove on how to stylize and then also like semi-realistic make the lips. I don't know, I think it's a cool thing and, I, and I'm excited for one day to be able to do that with the eyes because I feel like my eyes are not in a right place like they're i feel like they're too cartoony well i didn't expect this to be like an illustration where i like render things like with shadows and stuff like that so like i didn't make the shape of the eyes like proper for that i made them like very like graphic and like um like sharp like where's the eyeball under there like it's like half the size of her skull moving on to the dress i also wasn't sure what am i gonna do with this dress i haven't figured out the colors of the background like do I want the background to be yellow? And then I don't want, but then what color is the dress gonna be? I thought it would be cool if I just like focus on the character's color and gave, you know, her what I want ever, like everything that I want. And I want her to have a yellow dress. I think that'd be so cool. And I'm giving her lace gloves and I don't know if it ended up looking good or not. Like I keep toggling, I take it on, I turn it on and off and you know, part of me is like, okay, like the 
there's not enough contrast between the hands and the dress now because like the one hand is in front of the dress so and there's like two light things and if her dark hand stood out against the yellow dress that'd be really cool so then i tried to like make the lace black later and that also like i was like nah like if she's if she's doing this fancy thing she's gonna wear light lace you know what i mean like fancy thing right um and then i turn it off and i'm like i don't know should i keep it on anyway I'm talking about this lace glove way too much <laughs> so i keep it and let me know if i should have kept it in or not i don't know i I'm, I'm just keeping it this way and i'm showing you a little bit of real time of how i do this embroidery um because this was like this took like what three i recorded like three hours when i imported this whole thing it was like three or three or four hours and um it's crazy to just you know you know when you speed something up and it's fast and then when you slow it down it's slow something to think about so i'm redoing the flowers right now the sunflowers and you know i, I give a base ellip ellipsis elliptical oh a circle i put a circle in there so i don't like make the flowers like the petals go out and make it like a weird shape especially when you're like drawing flowers from a different perspective than like a front view you kind of want to get the ellipsis right ellipsis that's the right word and then i'm tinkering with this flower and it's just like i feel like oh darn like this is like a, like a kind of a more rendered flower than the rest of the character so well like and then i and then i'm like okay well i gotta kind of up the characters right i gotta i gotta do something about this and if it sounds like i'm always stressed out thinking of things and things are the end of the world it's because i'm always stressed out and things are always the end of the world like you know like everything you do in a drawing could end up being so different what is you know what i mean like one decision like can change the whole piece like if i decided not to put flowers in the hair or if i decided to take out the lace in the hands or if i decided to do a different fabric for the like a different color for the thing like every single little thing you do is such a different painting different decision it's that I that's what keeps me up at night the the idea of choices so right now I'm doing a little bit of um, slower action some hand movements here for you um, when I'm done when I'm kind of done a piece I usually um, make a brand new layer on top of everything on top of the line art and the painting and stuff and I just kind of like go over some lines so like you know at the beginning if i'm thinking okay this is just gonna be sketchy and then it ends up being like a more intense rendering so i'll just go over it and i'll get rid of some of the lines because like you know just coloring the line is not gonna cut it it's not the same thing so i i make it more of a you know like a like a you know, like uh <laughs> like a you know you know what i mean look at that layer flicking when you turn on the layer and you then you turn off the layer, you really get to see what's under the layer and then what's on top of the layer. You know what I mean? So here I'm doing the rest of the body, I'm just um, you know putting some like thread sticking out. I like to go over some lines that are black that I don't want at all. I want it like to be kind of seamless, like no line. And oh yeah, look at that. That's it, that's what I'm talking about. Turning off that layer, turning on that layer, it changes everything. So here I'm playing with the lace, look at that. Which color did you like better? I don't know. I don't know if I like the lace. Anyway, I'm gonna keep the lace. And we're coming up to almost the end. All I have to do now is kind of figure out the background. Oh wait, I guess it's not the end. I guess we still have to figure out the background. Well, anyway, I figure out the background and I decided to just put her in like a field, like a grassy kind of field so then her dress will pop out because at first I wanted to make like more sunflowers but because her dress is yellow I'm going to not do that so I put some of um, those things that cowboys put in their teeth in old-timey movies I forgot what they're called hay with um it's hay with with circles sticking out of them and the white puffy part <laughs> of a different type of plant um, that you blow on um, it's a it's a weed i think okay i know most of this video is me trying to think of words but hear me out it's late and i'm tired and also i can't move my neck so please consider cutting me some slack and i have to force myself to stop because I, if i don't stop i'll just keep 
like putting filters on something forever because I never end up liking any of my drawings when I'm done with them. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video and the process and hearing me ramble for like 10 solid minutes. You're the real MVP. All right, let me know what you think. Perhaps donate me a like. Perhaps donate me a comment. I'll eat that shit up. Thank you. Bye-bye.